on 702. ABC Sydney welcoming back to the studio the Sasha family and we have sitting with us Syed, Ali and Yama. Welcome back to the weekend show. Simon, first of all, thanks for having us on your show. It's always great to be back here. The artist that I have here next to me is a very well-known international artist from India. Uh, his name is Mr. Sangeet Mishra. Welcome and to the, the program. Inst- yeah. Thank you. And the instrument that he is playing and has been playing for, I mean, a very long time is known as the sarangi, now, which is a bird instrument. Mm-hmm. And it is mostly, I mean, recognized as one of the most oldest instruments in India. And this particular one that he's playing, this is about 100 years old. Wow. And uh, he's the fifth generation of sarangi players in his family. To just describe it, and we'll put a photo up on the web, It's it looks like a compact sort of square violin guitar but square <laughs> yeah. with yeah. four large pegs how many strings are there 39 there? string how many strings 39 string 39 strings synthetic and three is the leather one main string so just give us a little demonstration of how it sounds when you bow it <laughs> Now, the fascinating, thing, the fascinating thing to me is that rather than pressing down on the strings like no. you would on a guitar or a violin, you're using that yeah. area between the fingernail and, and the nail. knuckle. So yeah. just demonstrate how you can get that sliding sound. Very shortly, Yama, we're going to get you to play the two together and there'll almost Definitely. be like a question and answer. Just describe what people will hear when they hear that. It's known as a juggle bandi, mm-hmm. which is a question and answer, which is a kind of like a competition between uh, myself and Sangeet. <laughs> uh, or, I sh- or I should say our instruments are competing. Basically, we're, we're playing a, r- a set rhythmic, rhythmic cycle known as Tintal, which is 16 beats. Mm-hmm. And uh, we are improvising on that. But in between that, we are also, we'll be doing a question and answer. So he might be asking me, like, how are you? And I'll res- respond to him, I'm good, thank you. And then he will say, what are you doing today? And I'll be say, oh, I'm, I'm here in Simon's <laughs> recording studio today. One of the things that I, I gathered very much from the concert I saw a couple of weekends ago yes. was the respect from the Afghan community at two young people keeping alive these traditions. Why is that so important? Why did I see that respect? Well, uh, because, you know, we're living so far away from the, you know, from Afghanistan, from our country, and also because uh, our music, you know, the music that we play is used in all that subcontinent. So, I mean, Afghanistan, India, Pakistan, you know, Bangladesh. <laughs> Sangeet, when you were growing up, were you always going to play the sarangi or did you want to be a computer programmer? Or? No, 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 no. <laughs> I... I keep my tradition. Mm-hmm. It's my tradition in India, my family tradition, to play sarangi such a long generation. So I want to be a professional. When you have just come back, Yama, from uh, three months, two months in India? Yes, I was in two months uh, in India, Bombay. I was there uh, on a scholarship from the Australian Arts Council, the Australian government, which, you know, obviously they supported me heaps to go there and study my music further. So take me through this two months in India, some highlights. What was it like? Well, highlights were obviously I was there studying with one of the greatest masters of this instrument, the great Zakir Hussain, and his brother Fazl Qureshi, which I was fortunate to perform with in August here. Mm. And um, I travelled all over. I mean, I went to Bangalore for concerts. I went to Benares, which I was accompanying, playing with Sangeet, just near the Ganga River which is a very holy yes. place and very famous river. So, I mean, we're performing there. Just and give a little demonstration of the tablet so people can spot that in there, particularly the way the skin moves and you can affect tonal qualities. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, tabla is, is a two-piece drum and uh, the, 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 the left hand, which I'm playing, is known as the tabla and the right hand is known as the, is the baya. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically, you know, tabla is you know, played with the fingers and... Each stroke you play on the tabla produces a different sound. So basically, you know, if I just say na titige, you know, everything is said then played. So like I can play like a composition like dark uh, with the baya with the use of my palm and pressing the the skin, skin. I can you know play different notes. 
like I just played C D E F G A B C. You were hitting the same place on the skin, but your the the part of your palm was moving across yeah. the skin to change the tone. To change the tone, that's right. Like you know. It's been great to have you all in the studio. We're here you join back with the music. If you'd like to get in contact with the Sashas for any reason, the MySpace is just put Sash Studio, S-A-S-H Studio, into MySpace. And a website which is sometimes up called sashstudio.com. But That's for the great. moment, to all the Sashas and to our special guest, Sangrit Mishra, thanks for joining Thank us on you. the weekend. Thank you, very, thank you for having us, Simon. Thank you very much.